Welcome, everybody. Hi. This is our tradition of Christmas, Christmas in, in your, your jammies. jammies. Yes. And uh, yeah, we got DJ walking around here. He loves being with us. Yes, he does. And uh, so you'll see him in and out of the shot, I'm sure. But man, we're excited about this. We're ex so excited about doing Christmas with you again this way. I'm so glad you're spending time with your family. Yes. And so right here, we want you to take pictures of you and your family celebrating together. And you can send it to this address right here. This hashtag, this whatever. I'm doing a Jared Howell right here. This thing right here, because I won't remember what it is. So that's it right there. Awesome. And... Uh, Awesome, awesome. Oh, and you need to stick around. We have the Rosinski Famous Nut Roll Recipe. And you should have that in your uh, packet. Yes. And uh, so get that out and we can just cook together. It's going to be good. That is the best stuff ever. We just, I love it. We only do this once a year. And I'm telling you what, we make so much of it and I eat so much of it. It is my favorite thing. Amen. You know, it's one of my favorite things about Christmas. It always smells so good in the kitchen when it's baking. And it's not that hard to make. It's you just follow the instructions, the directions we gave you, the recipe it's called. Yeah. The awesome. recipe. Awesome. So stick around. We got more coming and we're just excited about you being with us. We love you guys. Hi, my name is Jared, and I run the media and tech ministry here at Resonate. And my name is Sawyer, and I'm the music director here at Resonate. We just want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas and say thank you for tuning in. The next thing that we have is some worship from our worship team, so enjoy.
Hi, I'm Pastor Taylor Van Wagner and I help lead First Impressions and my wife and I also tag team the high school and middle school youth here at Resonate Church. And I'm Hannah Van Wagner and I also lead the women's ministry team here and we want to wish you a Merry, a Merry Christmas. Christmas. Stay tuned for a word from our missions team. Merry Christmas, Pastors Paul and Colleen and everyone at Resonate Church. Your investment in Club 1040 this year is making an incredible impact across all the entire North Africa, Middle East region. You know, you've impacted teams in Egypt and also in Lebanon, in Turkey, and many other places that you just can't talk about everything. You helped to launch a church. Yay, in April, in yeah. Lebanon, in Beirut, Lebanon. And you know what? There's been more than 170 people born again just since the launch of that church. You made that happen. So many great things this year that you have helped us accomplish, and we can't do it without you. We're so grateful to all of you. Yeah, thank you. God bless you. Have a wonderful Christmas season. Enjoy the winter wonderland of Michigan. Stay warm, and from us at Clifton 40 and all our teams around the world, thank you, God bless, and Merry Christmas. I just wanted to say thank you to Pastor Paul and all of the people at Resonate Church uh, for supporting us. Uh, and we're here in Cebu. Uh, this is our last night for us to be here. It uh, yeah, it is. A, it's oh. our last. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, we just want to thank you for all of your support. Um, Pastor Paul and Miss Colleen, thank you so much. Uh, this has been a, an amazing trip. Uh, this team is crazy <laughs> awesome. Okay, heavy on the crazy. Okay, and on the awesome. So, once again, thank you so much. God bless you, and we'll see you soon. We love you. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Great update from our missions team. My name is Ashley Vanderwater, and I help run the Connections Desk. My name is Jacob Johnston, and technically I run the cafe, but really, my team runs the cafe. They are doing such a great job, so if you see one, please thank them. We just want to wish you Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Coming up next, we have the famous Rosinski nut roll recipe. Enjoy. Hello, Merry Christmas, everybody. This is my daughter, Annie. Hi. And this is my mom, Jerry. Hello. Yes. Anyways, we're going to be doing our uh, Rosinski family favorite nut roll. Um, it does take a few hours to rise and to bake, so start it early. Um, maybe if you start it now, it would be ready for dinner time. It would be great or for an uh, afternoon snack. So anyways, um, let's get started. Uh, in your packet, you'll have the... Um, the recipe and so you can just follow along. So first of all we start off uh, with putting a one cup of flour um, in the bowl. Yep, go ahead. Yep. And we pre-measured that already. Yep. And then we had a one-third cup of sugar that goes in there. Miss Annie. Yep. Sugar. There we go. That's salt. Yep, go ahead. One teaspoon of salt. You want salt right yep, now? Yeah, salt right now. Yep. And then the sugar. We need the here's the sugar. Oh we'll that so in. much. That's okay. <laughs> And then from there, we also have a packet, one packet of dry yeast. Okay, go ahead and add that very much. Awesome. Then we have our kitchen aid, which I love. Okay, so it's a little gooey like right that. That's how it's supposed to look. So the next step is you put in one egg. And we only need a half a cup of flour for this next one. So just do it, oh. but, but yeah, just go ahead, give me half a So, got the egg in there, and we just want to add a little at a time, right? Is that right, Mom? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I can, mean, right? Yeah. 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 Just a whole thing in there. There we go. Okay, great. And this is where we put the different hook on, right? Yes. Okay. So for this next step, we have to use a different, um, what do you call this, uh, hook. hook or something? Yeah. Okay. We'll do this. Do that, that's one cup of flour. Okay. And yeah. then we get this. And now, we're not sure how long to stir this for. It has to look just right. It has to, what, pull from the well, side of the bowl? Is that what the, we're looking at? Yeah, the dough you almost have to go by the looks of it or feel of it to know when you have enough flour. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. 
then you scrape that off, right? Yeah. So that what we want to do right here is we're gonna butter this bowl, right? Okay. And so, do you want to get your fingers? Sure. Great. So we get it all nice and gooey. -gooey. You can do it that way. Okay. Perfect. We're gonna scrape that off. Perfect. Okay, so it looks like this. Okay. Then you scrape this off into this bowl. We can get that in there. <laughs> Looks like that, I guess. Here we go. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so it's buttered on the one side, but you want it to get buttered on both sides. Looks something like that, okay? So um, you need to put it in the oven um, with maybe like a bowl of hot water to keep it warm, and then you let it rise to double in size. It takes about an hour, um, maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Um, and then I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so while the dough is rising, what you do is you make the filling. Now, you want to wait uh, to put the egg in the filling till you're ready to actually spread it on the dough. So let's put the egg off to the side. So with this, you need a quarter cup uh, softened butter, so you can put that right in there. Okay. And then we need, um, what is it, a, a tablespoon of grated yeah. orange. Mm -hmm. And so mom, could you start grating that for me please? I sure can. And, uh, yeah, so she'll do that. And then Annie, we need um, a half a cup of brown sugar that we already pre-measured. Good. And then we're gonna need um, two cups of chopped walnuts. Now I've pre-chopped them already, so oh. you can go ahead and uh, measure it. Two cups. Okay. Very good. Yep. This. Now, like that. Now. is a pre-made dough that we made earlier, just so you could see, okay? It doubles in size, so I'm gonna show you how to roll it out and how to uh, get it shaped just right. So what we do next is we flour the surface, lightly flour it, okay? Now, here's to get your rolling pin ready. This is my uh, mother's rolling pin, and so I'll get that flour too. Then you Oh, look how wonderful that looks. <laughs> yum, yum. Okay. So punch it. So I'm going to punch it, but I'm going to just kind of get it floured out a little bit. Looks good, Mom? Yeah. Any suggestions? No. You're doing great. Okay, now how big of a spot do I, how big do I need to roll it? 20 by 15. 20 by 15 approximately? Yeah. I have to be exact, but... Okay. So then you roll, roll, roll. I know, that looks pretty good. What do you think? Um, yeah, it looks pretty good. <laughs> yeah? So the Annie, once you take this, and we're going to leave maybe like an inch around the edge, mm, okay? okay? So you can just dollop in different spots and then we'll just spread it, okay? okay? And I'm gonna get some water. Remember, we didn't do water last time. Then what you do, Now, do we put the water on now, or what? Do we yeah, do? no, you can put it on now before you start rolling it. And, and this will be, do you, Mom? Yes. Do you only put the water on the edge that is going to um, adhere to it, or? Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Just yeah, around the brush. edges. Just like on the edges. This is my fingers. Is that so it can stick together? Yep. Yes. And she said we could also do like an egg wash too. So. Oh. Would you just put straight egg and whip it? Is that how you would do it? Yeah. Well, no, I don't, don't whip it. No? Mm. Okay. And then you just take this and you roll it. Do you want to try rolling it? Sure. Might not look 
pretty. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be perfect. It's gonna be yummy. Okay, what do you do, Mom? Rolling up like. Okay, then you take um, this, right? Mm -hmm. And you start rolling it up like a, a snail is what you would call it, right? Is that what right. you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Oh. So it looks like a snail. Okay, so uh, we're back. And what we did is we cleaned up the counter space and we washed the dishes. Well, there's a few dishes still in there, but we cleaned it all up. Now, what we didn't show you is how um, after it was shaped as a snail, it doubled in size, okay? And once they did that, we turned the oven on, we preheated it, went to what, 325, I think. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And 325? Mm -hmm. And then we baked it for uh, 45 minutes. Now I checked it at 40 minutes and actually it was perfect. So let me show you what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that look good? Yes, it does. So we'll let it cool a little bit and uh, then we'll cut it open and uh, we'll enjoy it. Good morning, everyone. I'm Ron Mills. And I'm Eric Sherman. And we co-lead the men's ministry here at Resonate Church. And we just want to say Merry Christmas. Merry we're so Christmas. so thankful for you guys all. Very thankful. Merry Christmas, everyone. I'm so excited that we're together, even though we're not together. You know, that you're together with your family, Christmas in your jammies, so just, you know, this little event that we're doing. And uh, man, that nut roll, you have to make it. It is like our absolute favorite thing during the holidays. I eat so much of it, it's crazy. And uh, it's really great when it's warmed up, butter on it. Oh my gosh, you're gonna wanna eat a whole one just by yourself. Well, Chris, what do I like about Christmas? There's a lot of things I do. There's a lot of things, I love lights. I absolutely love lights. Yeah, I, have you ever gone to those things where you actually drive through a neighborhood or something like that and you see all the lights and they got a light show and music? I just, I am so, I'm impressed with people's talent and ability to put things together. I love that about Christmas. I love the fact that families get together. I love the fact that uh, we can celebrate each other, love on each other, you know, things like that. And of course, you know, when I have the extra money and stuff like this, I like to give gifts to my friends and different things like that. And stuff like that. I just think that that is a great family time. You know, I, I think my favorite thing about Christmas is you, the world is more aware of Jesus Christ at this time. They just are. You can mention Jesus. Jesus is the reason for the season. All those things. You can talk about Christ uh, with a freedom that you can't any other time. Favorite thing about Christmas right there. Oh my gosh. So let's take advantage of that. Let's share Christ with others. Let's share Christ with our families and things like that. The things I might not like about Christmas is I think about it's his birthday. And we're celebrating the birth of Christ. His, God's gift to us, Jesus. You know, does Jesus celebrate birthdays? I'm not sure, but it's a time when we're celebrating Christ's gift, you know, Christ as a gift to us. But I think it's become more about us. I, I think it's just, Way too much about the gifts we get and not as much about the family getting together. I think it's so commercialized that it takes away from Christ. And I think even the church world gets caught up into that, you know. And I would really love to see this Christmas season that it's about, it's about Christ. It's about him. It's about a, a new dedication and consecration to him. His word says, be holy for I am holy. And... Is our life truly about him? Is this a time where we can say, thank you for coming for me. Thank you that you gave your life for me. And at this time, I'm just choosing to dedicate my life to you. This is a time where we celebrate that. We celebrate the new birth that we have. And what is that new birth about? It's about our life in him. It's about that life change that comes from being in him. And it's also about living out the purpose that we have in him and so this holiday season i just pray that your focus could be more on christ than ever before and that we could be motivated to share christ with others more than ever before absolutely enjoy the lights enjoy the gifts things like that but let's remember who we're celebrating and why we're celebrating it it's really about jesus and if we can keep him in the focus of it and even now you know 
we're going to take communion and different things like that, you know, even now, can we just focus on him and just make our lives about him all year round? That would be the greatest gift that we could ever give to him. Merry Christmas. Be blessed. And let's thank you, Jesus, for being born and all that you've done for us. We love you, Jesus. Amen. Well, awesome. In your, in your packet, you've got communion elements. And we would love to be able to just really uh, take communion together as a church family. Uh, this is a very special time. This is why Jesus came to uh, die. And this represents what he did. And he came to be able to pay the price for our sins so that you and I could get born again. We could get saved. We could become in relationship with him. Right, exactly. And right now, if you don't have the packet, if you don't have the elements, um, go get anything. It really, it's more about the heart. It's, it's what it represents. We've done it in Russia with Coca-Cola and who knows what we had for bread. I don't even know. We've done it with milk. <laughs> coffee. And coffee. Uh, because it's like we just, there was many holy moments that we just wanted to commemorate uh, uh, our covenant with Jesus Christ, with God the Father through Jesus Christ. And, um, and so that's what communion is about. And if you're not born again, this is why Jesus came. He came and paid the price for our sins so that we could be in relationship with him. Yeah. Keep preaching, honey. <laughs> DJ, DJ's getting involved in this somehow. And, uh, and so we could be in relationship with him. And so sin is a barrier between our relationship with him. So Jesus Christ took that out of the way by dying on the cross, rising from the dead, through living a, a sinless life. And so when we get born again, he gives us the potential to live that sinless life as well. He gives us power to overcome sin. Mm -hmm. And this is a miraculous thing that happens when we get born again. Right. In fact, you know what, how do you get born again? Well, if you can believe that Jesus Christ lived on this earth, lived a sinless life, he died on the cross to pay the price for your sin. You can believe that he, he paid the price for your sin and then rose again from the dead and that he's alive right now. He's seated at the right hand of God the Father. And the Bible says, if you will surrender your life to him, if you will call him Lord, in other words, I'm gonna live for you, Jesus, from this day forward, there's a miraculous thing that will happen. It's called being born again. Your life will change. Amen. I'm telling you what, it's an awesome thing. I remember when Colleen and I got born again, it was so awesome. And that's what we're remembering when we take communion. Yes. My life was bought by Jesus Christ through what he did. Right. And you know what? And let's just do that now. Let's celebrate Christmas and the real reason behind it. Yes. And the real reason behind it was you and me. The real reason behind it was that we could be like him. The real reason behind Christmas is so that we could dedicate our lives to serving him in the kingdom. Amen. So if you're ready to do that, let's do that now. Let's get the, the elements out. And he took the bread and he broke it. And on the night he was betrayed, he took it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Yeah, DJ wants to do that, but it doesn't work for dogs. I've and, got it in my other hand. Oh, so good. <laughs> good. Yeah, isn't this fun? This is our dog. This is our life right here. So, Lord Jesus, thank you so much for communion. Thank you for your body. Thank you for breaking your body so that we could be made whole. Thank you that we can now serve you acceptably. And we can give our lives to you, to the kingdom, and that you give your life to us and that we can have a living relationship with you. Thank you for doing that in Jesus' name. And then he took the wine and he said, this is my blood. Which is shed for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Yeah. And, uh, and so in that same manner, Jesus, thank you for shedding your blood for us. Thank you so much. We love you and we appreciate you. Thank you that we have a relationship with you. That means that you, sin is gone. That's what the blood represents. So don't be bound by sin anymore. In fact, some of you right now, let's just do this. Some of you right now, just bow your heads, close your eyes right now. 
Just say this with me. We're going to do a prayer of consecration, dedication to God, but also one of deliverance. So say this with me. Dear God. Dear God. I believe Jesus is your son. I believe Jesus is your son. I believe he died on the cross. I believe he died on the cross. To pay for my sin. To pay for my sin. And I've sinned. I've sinned. I need to be forgiven. And I need to be forgiven. You paid the price. You paid the price. For my sin. For my sin. And you also paid the price. And you paid the price. For me to be free. For me to be free. So right now. So right now. I give my addiction up to you. I give my addiction up to you. My sin up to you. My sin up to you. And I release my life. And I release my life. Into your holiness. Into your your holy and into your power and into your power. fill me with your spirit fill me with your spirit in jesus name in jesus name amen. amen now if you prayed that for the first time or if you want prayer about uh, being free from addictions and things like that i want you to go to our website resonline.org resonline.org push the button got saved watch the video fill out the forums Take those steps and we'll be able to help you. Love you. Yes. Merry Christmas. Merry be Christmas. blessed. We love you. Hey guys, I'm back again and I just want to plug Compass Kids Church did an incredible shadow skit and they got a really great recording of it and unfortunately we weren't able to include it in this video, but we want all of you guys to be able to see that. So we've gone ahead and put it on our website. Um, so you can go to resonline.org and go to the Compass Kids Children's Church page and it'll be right there up front. So we would love for you guys to check that out. It's an incredible skit, great recording, so please go ahead and watch that. I want to say thank you again so much for tuning in to Christmas in Your Jammies this morning and See you guys next week. I hope you have a great rest of your week and happy holidays. Merry Christmas.